one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And I've got a sweet little brick here for you today. This is a 1980 Volvo 264 GLE. This is an absolutely beautiful car. It's a one owner car, and it's actually part of the Diplomat sales thing, or it's Diplomat, I'll show you the book. Um, and they actually picked it up in Europe, drove around Europe. I've got an auto log with all the miles and everything he'd done to it, all written down in it. Um, super sweet little car. I'll go over all that paperwork and stuff with you. Show you underneath, inside. I love these PRV cars, maybe because they're unpopular with a lot of Volvo purists, enthusiasts, um, but very, very powerful and a blast to drive. And I'll tell you what, this is a manual with the overdrive button and um, it is an absolute blast to drive. This sedan with this motor and this tranny combination, this was ordered just like the gentleman wanted it and it shows that he definitely took care of it over the years. I love that view on it. Beautiful car. I had a guy making fun of me on my, one of my subscribers that I talked to time to time because I don't like these. And I keep saying that. He's all, hey man. He started naming out the five or six Volvos I have sitting around on my lot. And he's right. I do kind of like certain ones. And a couple people have mentioned that to me. These are actual Volvo wheels. Um, turbo wheels maybe? I'm not 100%. Nice Pirelli threads on them. Treads or threads. I just call them threads this time. Little titties all over the side. And plenty of tread. I'd say 80 to 95%. Your spoiler in the front, all there. Tiny crack in it right there. Little scuff. Clean as can be under here. I love these ones. Oh, you can see. Hold up. Got a newer starter. This thing rides great. All the plastic around here, rubberized molding, is in good shape. Still got your mud flaps front and back. Floor pan. Just in beautiful condition. And this one is harder to see up in there. And it's a clean car. I don't like these on it, but then again, I do. And I could have taken them off, but I left them on. It's your choice. New muffler. It's in great shape. Great shape. Look at that suspension, man. That's half the reason it rides so nice. Got your little factory. Uh, mud flaps there. Okay, that's your once around. And I'm gonna go up close now and find any damage that I can show you. And there ain't much any of that to talk about. Beautiful car. Going down the sides here, straight as can be. On a couple of these areas, like right here, where we catch the sun, it's faded a bit. And there's some miscellaneous scratches in the hood that you can see. Little check marks if you get up really close. And they're generally tiny, but they're on the hood. I hope you can see all that. God, it's beautiful and straight though. Sorry if I was too loud and scared you there. Beautiful grill. To click a picture of that. I love, you know, I love all the headlights. I like the seal beams in the Europe. I like the, what I like about these is the chrome. I do love chrome, and the chrome on the American ones, super cool. Um, I got a 262 chip with a single round, which is cool. Little chip there. That's not a chip though. A little bit of wear in the clear there. A little bit of wear there on it. A couple light scratches in here. Super clean. Light scratch right there. A couple things on the trunk and it's wore through as you can see it's faded on the trunk pretty good it's been preserved and it stayed inside um, I could have it color matched and painted but I didn't do nothing to it um, the roof is clean very clean but it is a little bit faded actually there's some dust on it too but it's a little faded not much um, sunroof see you can see a little bit of fading in the clear it's in great shape and we'll go down the side this way. Oh, there's a piece right there, just starting to bubble up just a teeny bit. All oh, this is clean and original though. Look at that, real metal left, man. 
rare to find these in this clean. You don't find them this clean. A little chip there. A couple miscellaneous little things in the door, like right there. And that's it. That's that side, top, hood. And then we'll go down this side. There's a little factory indention there. Miscellaneous chips, small. Same wear mark. Couple tiny stuff, as shiny as can be. A lot of the stuff I'm saying, I'm really picky. You'd never notice, and nobody's gonna notice really. But you will it someday. These rocker moldings here are in great condition. All this is in great condition. A little scratch there. A couple little chips as you go along it. A little bit of... You open that door into something and you can barely see it. Scratch there. And a couple miscellaneous marks on this side. And a couple chips right here. Like I say, you got the couple stickers on it that I was going to de-sticker but didn't. A um, couple chips in there. It's in great shape. Straight as can be. Um, on this side, right here. Not rusted through or nothing, just that it got under the paint just a little bit. As you can see, it's all still nice. I just grind that down now and take care of it. Let's curl. Actually, I just kind of put some deadener on it and I'd drive this car just the way it is. That back bumper is straight. Straight car. Nathan, 406-544-6919. And we're gonna go on a test drive and see how she runs. Well, I know how she runs. And it is a blast with this tranny. It does make it nice. Well, oneownercarguy.com. Beaglespocket.com. You probably see my beagle back up at the house. And that is just a beautiful car. I think I've got every angle on it. And that's that. Huh. I just wondered what the badge says. Just GLE. I didn't know if it said 264. Learning the different chassis in 262, 242. That's what I've got, a 242. I might have said 262 earlier. 113, two, three, 273. Uh, radio is an aftermarket Pioneer Premier. It's a very nice deck, actually. Phone don't go with it there, that's mine. Leather interior. Look at that. Overdrive. This thing runs nice. He wants me to fasten my seatbelt. Oh, wow. Make sure I show you that now. That's the thing about these one owner cars. A lot more of everything works on them. Runs nice. You're up to the speed limit in no time flat. A little cold hearted sometimes when you start it up in the morning, but it quickly warms up. DeLorean motor, baby. Yeah, maybe that makes you want to take it a little bit quicker. Especially knowing you got these cool wheels on it. Fourth gear. I geared, man, that's good. And then fourth. And then you got that extra overdrive there. We're gonna go ahead and go the long way around the world here. One owner car guy. One owner car guy .com. There's a little rattle in that door panel there. Second gear takeoff, how we doing? Yeah, it's all there. Low enough geared at the low end. Got it. it. It drives so nice. I'm here to tell you. Brakes nice. Tachometer and all works. 
pull your pants up, dude. It goes, man. And it rides nice. It just rides beautifully. And you don't have to go down to first on all the corners. You don't feel like you're slipping or burning the clutch or anything. You can take off from second. It's low enough gear for that. And then you hit first, man. It's low gear. And second's nice. This thing is a runner, man. The first one of these 262s that I had, 264s, is a four-door. It's black. That I actually drove around and sold me on. Uh, I had a 164 that a gentleman bought from me, and he still comments on his video. It's a gold one. You can find it on my channel. And the 164, yeah, it made me like vocals a little more. That 164 straight six was awesome. I got an S80 Turbo I bought. That thing was fun to drive, man. It made me like these little bricks even more. I had a red coupe. The red coupe was awesome. Five speed. Uh oh. W126 in the mirror. Are they coming to me? They could be, actually. I had just bought one of them. What a fun car to drive, man. Especially on a windy road. Well, I'm gonna go up to the house here, show you the interior. See what we can see. And film some of the nighttime later and chop it in here. Ooh, there's other cars coming up. And there's other cars coming up up here. Ah, oh, there's my two, one, uh, two, six, two, four, two. Dang it. I'll get it. You just wait. Someday I'll figure it out. All right. I'll get this in the shade for you. Where you can see the interior nicely. And... I mean, it's just a slight little... And if it's not idling like that... It goes away because it's right here somewhere. A little bit of a sound. Um, windows go nicely. Horn works. All your windows clean up nice or clean up go up nicely. And then huh, a couple marks right there. Oops. And I smeared it a bit more. That comes right off. I just smeared that. Hard to wear these bad boys out, I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it back. And I'll show you that it rolls forward fine too. But a little pocket here and a little separation right on that one, like they get. It's in great shape. It shows you your mirrors. The radio works fine. It's a Pioneer Premier. Um, and other than that, I'm going to show you the rest of this car here. Now, whoever had this, oh, I went exactly 8.9 miles. I have a pretty small little area that I travel in, and it don't take much as far as the mileage goes for me. Um, I'm going to pop the hood. Now, there's the door panel. It's in great shape. All the door panels are in great shape. Hey, come on now. We're all locked up. Interior's in great shape. Black. Black leather. And it's pretty dry. Um, we put a little conditioner on it, and you can see in certain places, like right there, where the conditioner shows up. And we're going to do it a couple more times to try and work it back in, because it's not all cracked or nothing. It's all pliable still, and it just needs to be conditioned a few times, in my opinion. Gold coin! No. Carpets are in great shape. Little Volvo floor mats. Rear power and all. Um, on the front seat, a couple tears on the seams. Now, this was my main choice on this. The back piece, just a little discoloration from fold over. 
this piece had this and a little discoloration. I almost had these cut out and replaced. Um, I could have them done for you very cheap. Probably 250 to 350, he'd do both seats. Um, dash on this car, absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. Show you that. I know I showed you that, but I gotta take my pictures because I've been doing this thing where I forget. Brake pedal, clutch pedal, all that, hardly anywhere. Uh, underneath here, kick panel down here is in great shape. Little mark in the carpet right there. And I'm pretty picky about wanting to show it all. That's what she said. And I love that white on the he headliners of these with the dark interior. And it's either a black or a really dark brown. I don't know. Digging that overdrive though, I'll tell you that much. Um, showed you in there. Let's go. You know, I don't like a funky antenna. And it's kind of got a little bit of a tear in it. You might want to put that back to factory or something. Don't like the funky antenna, no serene. And why wouldn't the guy replace something like that and put a correct Volvo antenna on it? Well, you know what? I would. But I figure that a lot of my clients would rather do the one they want, the way they want, and um, all that good stuff. Now, I've got these books in here. These books do not come with this car. They do not come with this car. If you want the books, I'll sell them separate. Um, this car has been maintained. And this guy has all of the service books for this. And I will be keeping these for my collection. And they are not for sale. No, I'll sell them separate. But they are not with this car. I put them in here simply to show you just how serious this guy was about his maintenance. Um, chill the boot. Um, can somebody please bring me the stuff from the glove compartment? Here's the manual for your Pioneer, which is a pretty serious manual, by the way. Extra stuff. And it's a battery hold down type thing. Um, I need a little bit more room. Can you take these books with you? Thanks. Yes, sir. Home thing here. I'm going to take this out for now to where I can spread this around. All this in here. Extra bungee cord. Jack in a jack bag or a tool. Oh, there's a tool bag in there, too. Ah! Well, I'll tell you what, this here is just, he did everything, and my goodness, it's amazing. Um, all these factory tools, and this ain't a factory tool, and I'll tell you, I just, I'm just i going to take this now, and I'm going to use it, because I use stuff like this. Um, so, easier to just take it now than to make a trip. There's something like that, there's your antenna plug-in and stuff. It's in great shape here. Um, I think it's a factory spare. I still got tread in between the tires, titties in between the tires, I mean. Um, okay, let's look at this. The Chilton's will come with it. The Pioneer book, of course, will come with it. That battery part stuff you see. And there's the, will come with it. There's a factory manual. A couple pieces loose in it, but it's all here. Okay, here you go. Special delivery. Tourist and diplomat sales. And it has in here all kinds of cool stuff. Like the real leather sticker. The USA sticker that he didn't put on. Must have bought it over there. Wow, look at that. 30 cent. <laughs> Car mileage and trouble guide. He got all this stuff. Converted to liters. Here's his. Now I don't know if this is a Euro model. What year is this? Could somebody find out? 80. 80. It says 79 on this. Um, oh, that's because in uh, Europe it's going to be the year there that it's produced in versus when it gets here it goes by the month and would follow normal 
structure. Ah, that's interesting. So I've got all this, got a picture. It doesn't say where, but that's in Europe, buddy. It's got different wheels on it, too. All that'll come with it. Um, this will all come with it, of course. That's a cool folder. Um, yeah, and I'm going to spend a little bit of time going over this with you. Um, you can skip ahead if you want. <laughs> cool, man. I love old books and such. This is for the radio, so I'll just put that under the radio thing there. Cool stuff. And this. The car that is now being delivered to you was originally built to be in comply with legislation in the USA. To make use of the car in Europe means, however, it will have to be driven on leaded gasoline as non-leaded cannot be obtained in Europe. Exhaust, some adjustments have been carried out. The catalytic has been going in a straight exhaust pipe installed instead. The llama sound sensor has been... And then I think he got all this back on here. Before shipment was carried out by our agent, this is a misstatement that was carried out as outlined in the warranty. So basically they made it good for him there. And then now it's been good here all these years, and it's been here for a long time. Um, okay, let's open this folder. And it's got a bunch of stuff on it for his junction box and how he did some things. And notes, parts familiarization with a workbook, um, how the headlight inserts work, and what years they are. Wow, that's cool stuff. Here's your PRV stuff. So, he's got all this in here. Wow. Oh, wait. Them wheels. What are them wheels? He had the wheels on here. Yeah, okay. It's taking a little long. Huh. In 80, the 15-inch only became available for certain... So are these factory? Somebody tell me. Somebody knows more than me. They are 15s, they are Volvo. They say Germany on them. They say Germany on them and they say Volvo on them. And there's a couple numbers to where you can tell. Looks like it says 87, I don't know. I think this is saying that they were available with them wheels on a 260. Huh. Pretty cool stuff. He has everything in here. So that's workbook and personal notes. I'll put over here. Um, has this, which he didn't really get anything in. And it's just a book that's back here. And this actually, though, is super cool because all of his information on this car is all in here. Heidel, Heidelberg. Heidelberg. Wow. 5,700, 9,000 miles, 9,300 miles. Heidelberg. It was over in, in Italy. Miles per gallon. Wow! 22.8 miles per gallon. Heidelberg. God, it was over there for a, quite a while. It's got up to 21,000 on it. 24, 47. DMT. DMT. Kroon. Stuttgart. Stuttgart. This has been everywhere, man. France. Germany. If up to 54, 58. Orlando. We've docked. St. Petersburg. We're in the States, baby. 63, 69. I gotta keep going. 73, 75, 1986, 79, 84. This is cool. 88. Yeah, there you go. That was the year. Now we started doing this kind, and we're up to 91. He didn't drive it much in this last bit here, but he kept track of it all. Wow, this is so cool. Up to 96,000 miles. And 
and that's where it stopped there, but there's more notes in here that he kept on certain things. So, just an amazing amount of records and stuff kept. This will come with the car, of course. Um, I don't know what this is. Tire. Evans Discount Tire. The tires started, closed. Um, the date on the tires is 06. Is it for the Pirelli? Help! Somebody help me! Find out if it's the Pirelli's at this point. So there's a picture of all your paperwork. Still got the jack thing there. Beautiful card. Now this is an extra armrest that came with it. An extra broken dipstick that came with it. And an extra fiberboard type piece. I don't really know what it's for. Um, under here, it's absolutely beautiful. All your sound deadeners there. So this is just as nice as can be. Lots of paperwork there for you. I'm gonna put this back here. Actually, I'm gonna take a few pictures here. There we go. Okay. I believe so. Okay, so he ain't put many miles on them. Oh man, that clothes is so nice. I always reach for them keys, man. The black is chipped off a bit on that little piece. <laughs> sure is pretty. And I've went a while showing all this stuff. And I'm not sorry. I want you to see anything and everything on this car that there is to see. Package trays clean. Eclipse speakers front and back, I believe. Very rare car. Very clean car. And like I say, kind of spotted up from that. We're gonna re-apply um, some of this. You can tell right there. It's just not tore or nothing, but if you work it in a bit, look at right there, there's a dry spot. It needs to be just worked in a bit. And we've done it once, watch right here, same thing. And I'm not adding any, I'm just kind of rubbing in the stuff that's already there a bit. And, it's in great shape. These are in great shape. Door panels, great shape. What can I say besides great shape? And I've pretty much showed you anything and everything I can think of on this car. Except for under the hood, of course. We're going there next. Uh, we might have to back it up a tad for that. Don't know yet. See, you got a tire pressure gauge. I'll leave that one in here. Um, lights out. So, we, you know what? I'm gonna turn the key to make sure. Oh, lights out. Mirror and all that is in great shape and nice and tight, too. So is the glove box door. Everything's beautiful in this car. Maybe somebody can tell me on them wheels. I know I got a couple good Volvo fans. That are subscribed. And yeah, we're gonna have to back this up. Where we can get a better look at it. And there's his new dipstick he had installed. And the problem was, is this little piece broke right there. So pretty picky on the maintenance. Came with an interstate battery. I like it. That's good. Here. Okay, so. Oh, the 242 is coming up too. Beautiful under the hood. Look at the size of them heads on this car. Just huge. Huge. And you know, it's the fillet of it too. The fillet, I know that ain't the word. It's a 90 degree or something. Well, kind of moved it out in the sun for you to where you could really see. And now you're dealing with my shadow a little bit. But to give you a couple different views at the motor, there you go. And I'll have to clip this together a certain way 
Um, beautiful car. Absolutely beautiful. And I don't know if it's faded out over time or what, but it sure is beautiful on the paint. This here is a little bubbled right there, but it's in great shape. Well, that's your under the hood. Nathan, 406-544-6919, little. Oh, he grounded out the battery at some point, almost guaranteed. Beautiful car. Well, you know I like to do my cars from a couple different angles here. And this one here is just, well, angles, times a day. And this one here is just a beautiful little brick. And I absolutely enjoy these PRV motors and love driving them in a manual like this. This is the first really good manual one I've had. That's a great runner and everything. Um, I have one that was pretty rough. I got it for a parts car and I had a nice automatic that was really nice. But in the manual, oh God, this thing is a blast to drive. And I read a thing where these wheels were on some of the GLE models back then. I don't know if they're factory to it. I know the guy ordered it and got it in um, Sweden and drove it around Europe for quite a few years. He Heidelberg in Germany, I believe it is. Um, car is beautiful. And just going down it, gonna kind of just show you another once around, I guess. Took that plate off the front there. Absolutely beautiful. Straight as can be. OneOwnerCarGuy.com BeaglesPocket.com All around the windows and stuff. Clean as can be. Sunroof. Just clean as can be. Well, that is that. And you can see these little chips on here a little better maybe this time of night and they're just every now and then but you really can't see them from a little ways back well I might as well give you a ride in it again god it's beautiful and just from certain angles like that oh man one of the most reliable car whether you like these or not you, they're not they're just cool they're, they're ultra reliable, ultra safe, and long lasting cars. Um, I showed you the interior, but it's that time of night. Well, it's easy enough to do now, also, to try and make sure you've seen everything correctly. Got 11 buzzers, huh? Nice, thick leather. And I think I showed you, oh, I know I showed you in the trunk. And in fact, I left it kind of open. Just, it's so cool. I think that I ordered these with the car. I really do. And like I say, these don't come with it. Um, I'm gonna keep these for me because I do a lot of these. You can have the Chilton's and all the other paperwork I show in the other one. Um, let's make sure this is closing. There it is. Well, I'll give you a ride back up. You want to ride or you want to walk? Look at that, man. It's in great shape. You want to ride. You don't want to walk. It's a long ways up there. I was closing that kind of shallow to see if that was kind of... I think it's maybe pushed down. I think it just set for a few years with it pushed down like that. I really do. God, man. You almost forget you're in a um, manual in this thing. test drive. As you can see, 35 is pretty easily achieved. Downshift to second here. Keep up the juice. Right now, power, man. That's fourth. <laughs> Little birdie almost got hit.
along with the special delivery book for the tourist and diplomat sales I'm gonna give you this here button that came on his keys for that also very cool car very very cool car 264 GLE one owner car guy.com make sure and like comment subscribe share all that good stuff I really appreciate it and it really helps out and definitely appreciate that um, man I don't know anything else to tell you on this beautiful car except for that it needs you driving it great investment vehicle um, one owner car guy .com, beaglespocket.com and other than that import export I'll ship this to any port in the world thanks for watching have a great day or night we'll talk to you